I've made it a hobby slam here in Miami, and with the start of football season just around the corner, I brought football cards to sell and trade on the show floor today. So you want basketball? Modern basketball, Trae yeah. Trey, I have, I have I have a ton of Trey Young. These are all cards that I would be interested in. So some combination of value here okay. that would get us up to there, I would be willing to do. So the, what I pulled out of the box here, you got a couple of really cool Jackie Robinsons that you don't see every day. Um, and then I pulled out some modern football because I'm trading away modern football. So I trade away for Fields, the Burrow Tiger Stride. That's just a sick looking card, isn't that? Like that's super cool, that's wild. Um, and then, you know, you got Downtowns, T-Law, Rookie Downtown, Mahomes, uh, Mahomes Color Blast, another Trevor Lawrence here. And then I pulled out a little bit of classic basketball. So we got LeBron, we got Luca's uh, rookie card from when he was over in Europe. We've got um, a couple of uh, kind of classic Kobe's and then this Shaquille O'Neal on-card rookie auto. So just a variety of things here from your box that I think are all pretty cool. Yeah. That I cards that I would like personally. Some of them. Some of them are cards that, you know, I know would be popular if they were in my case. So I'd be interested in trading any combination of those. You know, that works out financially for what, the. What for the value moment. are you looking for on that card? It did eleven thousand eight hundred back in February. Okay. So in PSA in PSA nine. For your value on this is ten k. I got it stickered at eleven, but I'd be willing to come down a little bit on that, obviously. Okay. What do you um, here? So let me look what at it. What get a 10K here? It's a great question. Let me look at it. Let me look at it. Are there any of these in particular that you just don't want to part with? Like any that you're like less, you know, or is probably, it? Probably, probably the Jackie Robinson. Fair enough. Maybe the Burrow. Okay. These two. Everything else. That Burrow is sick. I like that Burrow. I, I get it. I get why you want it's to keep so, that. It's, it's so disgusting. I was hoping to pick that up because that's just a sick card. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's just crazy. Like the tiger, how well the tiger stripe matches the Bengals uniform. I'm willing to throw it in if, if we can. I mean, that's, I mean, that's just a cool, that's just like such a cool looking card. It's a, talk about cards with eye appeal. That one's got eye appeal. That's neat. All right, I'll put it in. I'll put it in. All right, let me scan a few of these here with market yeah, movers. Go for it. Go for it. All right, so that one most recently sold for $1,000. Yeah, I saw it for like twelve hundred thousand. Yeah, it's in that the one thousand to fifteen hundred range, basically. Yeah. What are you seeing here? Yeah, thirty-one twenty-seven is what it just sold for, which was pretty high because actually I sold. Three, I heard three K plus. That's what I heard. Yeah, it sold a couple days ago, before that for twenty-four eighty, and then right before that for twenty-seven hundred. So I'm looking up this uh, Luca from twenty sixteen Euro League, the patterned rainbow. Actually, very impressed that the market movers image search caught this one. Yeah, so this is. This is what's happened to Lucas Market. At one point in time, this card was as high as five thousand dollars. Now that was a year. That was a year and a half ago. Most recently sold for seven hundred and seventy-nine dollars, wow. which is actually why I like picking up Luca right now. I actually think that, I mean, his stuff has crashed, and I think a little too much so, considering how much of a talent this guy actually is. Yep. Um, are you talking cash or trade? Cash. I, I do I do a thousand cash on it. Do you do eight fifty? I think eight fifty is gonna be a little low. Nine cash? I'll take nine cash for it. I'll do that for you. Yeah. What are you thinking on this card? Um, all right, I, yeah, I'll consider 2,500 on that. Okay. Yeah, so I think that puts us at, um, I think these four cards total, we've got about 8,750, right? So 3,000 for the T-Law, 1,000 for the field, so that's 4,000. We agreed to 2,500 on that, so that's 6,500. And then 2,250, kind of splitting your comp and my comp is uh 8750 so that's basically 8750 so okay. if we can find something else that's in the neighborhood of like 1250 dollars or okay. thereabouts it feels like that's we're fair. fair or you know i'd like to kind of throw that shack in i just love the shack on i love shock shack on card rookies they're not you know they're not they're not super rare when shack was a rookie back in 92 right. there you know cards weren't coming out with autographs on them yeah. that wasn't exactly. that wasn't common so if you want a shack autograph rookie card you got to get one after the fact especially on a card like this one right and then maybe that's uh you know knocks off 200 250 or so on that so if we can find something in the neighborhood of about a thousand bucks i think we're i think we're in good Fair. shape 
Okay. So what are we at here? This is about three, three, one. Yep. This is about one. It's a thousand. Okay. Yeah. Right at recent comps. About four, one. Yeah. This is, we're calling it 2,500. It could be yep. more. We're saying about eight, six, maybe eight, yep. uh, eight, eight. Maybe eight, 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 something like that. Okay. So now you're at about nine, one. Nine. Seven, that was 350 was the last sale on that oh. one. Yeah, 350. Okay. So that so was like a 9450. Yeah, about 95. And then that one just sold for 500. So would you do it? Would you do it without the Kobe? Without the Kobe? Straight up, all these hits. T Law PSA 10, Justin Fields PSA 10, a 10 on the borrow, Tiger Stripe. We got the Kobe Gold. I like you selling me on this. Keep going, the keep T -Law. going. The LeBron stained glass. Shaq. Shaq Auto is nice. Shaq Auto is disgusting. What are we thinking? I mean, it's a good, it's 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 a good trade. Obviously, I'm trading one big card down for a lot of little cards. All right, you want to do it? I'm done. All right, let's do the trade. All let's right, do it. Okay, you. that's a cool Appreciate trade. It. That's great. Awesome. That's great. We just did a big trade. I got a whole bunch of stuff in return, but he got a beautiful Patrick Mahomes rated rookie right there. Nice card. So that's, I mean, that's a beautiful card. And then look at everything I got in return here. I got some. Trevor Lawrence. Uh, hopefully the Jags have a good start to their season. We'll see what they do. I'm optimistic about Fields this year. I got a really beautiful Fields rookie. Um, and then I just got some cards that I think are just amazing. The eye appeal on that Burrow is insane. You cannot go wrong with Kobe, rare Kobe, gold stained glass. That's incredible. You know, a cool LeBron that people like. And then finally, for my PC, a Shaq on card auto. It's a good trade. Thank Appreciate, you. It. Appreciate it. it. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. So Jacob, you want one of my Topps cards? You don't have one? So here's the deal. I want you to trade me for it, but then I'm gonna have you give whatever you trade me to another kid. So you can kind of pay it forward, okay? Is this what you wanna trade me? Vincent Company from Bel Belgium. That's a soccer, that's a soccer auto there. Cool, very cool. Just take that card that you're trading me and go find some kid on the show floor who's getting into collecting and give that to him, okay? Man, nice to meet you as well. Aiden, nice to meet you. Oh, dude, these are awesome. CJ Henderson and LaMichael Pirine. Really? You want to you want to you want to trade me for my Topps card? You want to do that? That's a gift. Well, I appreciate that, but I want to give you a gift too. Look at that card, by the way. Look at that LaMichael Pirine right there with the nice bright orange and blue and the CJ Henderson one of one. Yeah, you got a lot of nice Ritters. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's real cool. I said, oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. Purdy. Probably the most interest in the Morant. I'd have to kind of look at. Sure. His market's tough right now. You know, his, his stuff's down a lot. All right. Let me, where you said, are you set up somewhere? I was. I broke it down already. Oh, okay. I just got to grab it. You sold it already? Yeah. You flipped it? Yeah. Good for you. You make a little bit of money on it? Yeah. Good amount. Good. Good for you. I got, uh, 2K. You got 2K for the T Law. Wow. That's really nice. Wow, that was a good flip for you. Jeez. I am having a very bad day. I am in no mood. This today is one of the worst days that I've had in a long time. So I just made a really expensive mistake. That Trevor Lawrence gold card that I just sold to that kid, I priced that card as if it was a PSA 9. The card was actually a PSA 10. I somehow messed that up when I was pricing the card and I sold it to the kid at like a third or a fourth of its actual value. Now, this is a mistake that I could have avoided if I had added the, the card to my collection in Market Movers, which is what I am supposed to do because this is my own software and I didn't have my card in Market Movers. So I just looked it up on the fly in Market Movers and I typed in PSA 9 instead of PSA 10. If I had put it in my collection, then it would always be in there as a PSA 10 and I could have just simply clicked on it in my collection and it would have shown me the accurate price. Don't do what I just did. Go subscribe to Market Movers because for $9.99 per month, it can apparently save you thousands if you make dumb mistakes like I just did. Go to sportscardinvestor.com and click on Market Movers in the main menu bar or download the Market Movers app from the App Store on your phone right now and save yourself thousands of dollars in mistakes if you're like me.
I wasn't really planning on picking up any Ritter, but I hadn't seen the Checker one before, so that's kind of cool. It's not not too expensive, so I'm willing to consider it. Is there any recent sales on there? Yeah, I think one sold just the other day for eighteen thirty, I believe. You could take the two or two just so we can. Maybe. What's the, what's the, what's the two app? So a, a PSA ten does like fifteen. Okay. So I had it like at eleven. Okay. Yeah, last sale I see was 1,020. It was a while ago, though. Right. So. Price so market is up a little bit. Yeah. It's not like crazy, but. Okay. So six, somewhere between 1650 and 1700 on that, really. 550 to 600 on that. So 1650 to 700. 1700. 17, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so we can do the difference. Yeah, 1825 that sold for the other day. So you want to say. 100 bucks? I was going to say, I was going to say, I was going to say 150. So you want to say 125? 125. Let's do it. Okay. You look good after all Will Greer last night. Yeah. So I saw it on Twitter. <laughs> he threw four touchdowns, right? He did. And, he really did. But, and what's Kyler Murray doing these days, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing so much football at this show. I, I expected to because the NFL season is just around the corner. But wow, it's amazing how hot the football card market is right now. That's something that has really changed in the hobby over the last few years. And it's exciting to see. Huh? Huh? Should I? Should I? This is why I love card shows in Florida. I see things like this and they draw me back home. How much is this one? Uh, that was 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Yeah, so this is like a true throwback Nike. Yeah. Is that what this is? Yeah, it's like I know that's a big time throwback. Yeah, I remember yeah, that pattern. Time. All right, I could use a nice gator hat with the season now underway. I need to cheer my boys on. So oh, got to cheer on the orange and blue. For 50 bucks, that, that, you know, an old school, nice, original Nike there. All right, we're, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna grab it here. There you go. Hey guys, this is Cameron from Big C7 Cards. He's one of the organizers of the show and he just challenged me to a box battle here at the show. So let's go. We are opening thanks to Jason's Jet Breaker. So this is the card that I've stopped on. Only had two packs left. So this was an obvious card to stop on. Let's see what I got here. It is... Oh, <laughs> well, I, I think I'm going to stop here. We can move on to Panini once. Something tells me I'm in the lead right now. That's okay. Everything can All change right. with one card. We're going to see what happens right here, ladies and gentlemen. You ready for it? I mean, it's a, it's an epic player. How about I use my Jalen Petrie to cover it up? Here we go. All right. First time opening Panini one. It is okay. All right. All right. Not, not bad. We got a Sky more. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's, uh, these price-wise, probably relatively similar cards. Pretty close. Your Sky, I'm surprised actually that the Antonio is doing as well as it's doing compared to the Sky more RPA. I'm surprised too, Jeff. Wow. I think you won this. Wow. I have a surprise. Oh. Oh, what is this? What are you? Oh, what? What is Who that? Else? Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Okay. You mentioned the NFC tag on the back. Yeah. Here is something really cool. I have actually preloaded something in here okay. just for you. What it's going to do, it is going to take you directly to your very first YouTube video. Oh, wow. That's wild. Look at that. In color. That's really crazy. Just wow. Like that. That's amazing. Nathan, this is not stuff that I've seen anywhere else in the show. What this is, what is this? This is unusual. This is Princess Elizabeth. Yes, before she was queen. Yes. That's incredible. I didn't even realize that she had cards back before, before, as you said, she became Queen Elizabeth. Yes. Three of three of them. And these are I'm PSA saying. nines. It's amazing nice. that these cards of, of uh, you know, then Princess Elizabeth, that, that there were six of them that made it in a PSA nine. And you've got, you've got three of the six. Yes. And there are no tens. No tens. Wow. What a piece of history you got here. What a slice of history. You don't expect to see this at a car show that's got so much ultra modern, you know? Yeah. That's the Color Wheel 101. Yeah, if you're interested in that, I'd be I'd be open to doing something on it. I love the Color Wheels. They haven't become they haven't become as popular as I thought they were going to become. Well, right when they came out, I was like, "Oh, this is going to be like the next Color Blast." I just really like the design of them. I think the one thing that really sucked is they put select in like more of a retail product. Yeah. They degraded the product a little bit, yeah. So the 2021 selects, the Holmes color wheel one of one went for 4,020. Obviously not rookie, but it is Mahomes. 
and the Ray Lewis color wheel, one of one, went for $1,000. Those are the only two recent sales that I see on a one of one color wheel selling from Select. Yeah, I had it marked at three. I mean, my target on it was like 2,500. That's what I was hoping to get from it. I felt like that was approximately fair based on the little bit of other stuff that I saw out there. Could you get any closer to like 2,000 cash? Um, yeah, I mean, if you're gonna do, if you, I, I'd be willing to, I'd be open to doing cash or trade on it. Um, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna do cash on it, I think I, I, I would take 2250, or I do 2500 trade. I'd take a chance at 2200 cash. Okay, I'll do that. There you go. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, for sure. That. For sure. Very much. That one caught my eye because that one's in my case. So that's the one of one. This I picked up over the summer. Really happy to have this card. I think it's got great potential. But then he's got the gold out of 10. Look at that, of the exact same card in a PSA 10 to boots. That'd be a pretty nice one to get. I don't know if I wanna, I don't know if I wanna shell, off that, shell out that kind of cash here as we're just a week or two away from kickoff of the NFL season, but it would be pretty cool to build out the rainbow and that would actually give me a legit chance to start doing that. I just had to call my son because Harrison collects this messy card from 2020 Merlin. He collects this card because that's the one that we pulled out of the Father's Day break that I did with him on our Sports Card Investor YouTube channel. We opened a box of 2020 Merlin on Father's Day and he pulled out this card in the green, in the orange out of 25. So he's now collecting the entire rainbows. And this is the blue out of 75. I didn't expect to see it here, but I gotta see if I can figure something out on this. All right, so you said your price was 300 on this? Okay. And you said you saw one comp, it was a while ago. Yeah, it was around 350, it was a few months after the World Cup. Okay. So they definitely come down a bit since then. Looking at market movers here on the sales history. So a few months ago, a PSA 10 sold for 118. Okay. Now his market's gone up a little bit since then because now he started with the MLS, right? Yeah, he's been killing it. This, a PSA 9 sold for 96. Okay. So that's definitely a better comp for you. Okay. Let's say 118. Let's match that one. And you said it came, he's been doing well since then. We can do that. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's probably worth a little bit more than that. I would think at this point because this market has risen. Obviously, like, it completes its set. So let's do it. How about, how about 118? That, that's, a, that's a really good deal. I appreciate you doing that for us. Okay. That, there you go. I got to give you a shout out because that's a really nice deal. My, my son's going to love it. Sheer, Sheer Sports Cards. I appreciate it. Thank you. So, Brad, what's the story with Sheer? Uh, backstory for me, at least, was uh, had a crazy medical diagnosis of a brain mass. It was actually a birth defect, car accident. That's how we discovered it. Wow, how long ago was this? Five years ago. Okay. Uh, they found an aneurysm in there as well. Doctor said, you have two ticking time bombs in your head. We can fix one of them. I said, what about the other one? They said, live your life. So live your life from a doctor for you meant, I want to do something fun. I want to do something I love for work. I was looking for something that worked for me. Yeah. Something that made me happy. Didn't feel like work. And I started with nothing and just slowly stack, stack, stack. And we're just trying to build and branch. Wow. We want to start traveling. We're building this brand sheer. We're breakers on whatnot. And here we are almost four years later. I still don't have a real boss except for my buddy. <laughs> and things are moving forward. Brad, that's an incredible story, man. Gives me chills. Congratulations on making the leap and overcoming and the whole thing. We need to share our stories like this. Yeah, no, there's so many There's so many great stories in the hobby. The people, dumb people luckiest themselves. person you've ever met. <laughs> yes. We actually won our way into the Super Bowl from whatnot on MSB Wax. Two years ago. Two years ago. Got oh, that's awesome. Super Bowl, Super Bowl for free, me and him. Wow. Got Trevor Lawrence out there in LA. That's awesome, good. It's all from whatnot. All from wow. So all because of getting back into the card industry, because of doing all these things, I've never been to a Super Bowl before. Yeah. I didn't want to go buy Super Bowl tickets. I probably yeah. would have never gone to one. Yeah. It was a once in a lifetime experience. Wow. And me and him want to go back. Wow. That's amazing, Brad. Yeah, good stuff. Tell everyone out there how they can find you. Uh, sheer pulls on whatnot. Uh, your boy Brad has a page on Facebook, Brad's Box Breaks. We're all over. Keep your eyes out of your local card shows because we'll be coming your way. All right, and look, 
I promise, I promise this story was organic. I just talked to Brad. This was absolutely incredible, but I am gonna give my shout out to Whatnot now because it seems fitting since these guys are on Whatnot. Uh, Whatnot sponsors our card show coverage. We love them here at Sports Card Investor. And if you haven't checked out the Whatnot app, you gotta do it because even if you can't come to card shows like this, you can actually find folks like Brad 24 hours a day, seven days a week on Whatnot, ripping boxes, selling singles and more. Scan that QR code on your screen right now and we're gonna hook you up with $10 free in your Whatnot account when you download the app and install it. Or you can use the link in the description to this show here below on YouTube. Check out Whatnot. All right, I just got back from the card show and uh, I'm gonna surprise my son with this. Hey Harrison, I got something for, I got something for you from the card show. You ready? Oh, you ready? <laughs> 75 <laughs> Show me your collection. Show me your collection. Okay. Show me what you got now. We got the rainbow going, baby. That's awesome. That's awesome. Sweet dude. That's awesome, buddy. Love you. Thank you.